Hello everyone. Today we are learning about Earth's inner layers. So in your Edmodo, you want to go to the post that says Earth's inner layers. So we have the link for the reading. We have the practice questions that you have to do. We have the email that you send those to. So let's take a look at the inner layers of the Earth. So layers by composition. Um, so we have the major divisions are called the core, mantle, and the crust. And then we have a few more divisions that we'll go into in the future. So the crust is less than 1% of the Earth by mass. So the two types of crust are going to be oceanic crust. That's the rock on the ocean floor and then continental crust. So the Earth with its layers, it's kind of like an apple. So if you if you sliced an apple in half, you would see that the skin of the apple is a very small portion of the apple. So the skin of the apple is like the Earth's crust. Next, you get to the mantle. So the mantle is like the inner fleshy part of the apple. It represents about 68% of Earth's mass. So it is most of the Earth. And the fleshy part of the apple is most of the apple. So the mantle is going to be very hot. It's going to be very dense, which means it's very heavy for the amount of volume. And then it's also going to be dark or what we call ultramorphic rock. The core is going to be mostly iron metal. The core is about 31% of the earth. And the core would be like the apple core. The Earth's metallic core has two layers. It has um, the solid inner layer, so the inner core, and then it has the liquid outer layer, which is the outer core. So um, the layers, we have the lithosphere and the asthenosphere. These are layers of the mantle. So the lithosphere is part of the mantle, but it is also um, a portion of the crust. So the lithosphere is going to be brittle. It's going to be kind of rigid. Um, but in comparison to the other layers of the earth, it is going to be easily cracked or broken. The asthenosphere is what is below the lithos lithosphere. Um, this is also in the upper mantle. So this layer is a solid, but it can flow. So it's kind of like road tar before it solidifies, if that makes any sense. So make sure you complete your questions and turn them into me.